Hey everybody, how are you going? I hope you're doing well. It's, um, no, I don't know. It's 10.02 a.m. It's very wet today uh, in uh, Melbourne. Um, wow. Um, so I'm going to be live later. I've either be live or recorded video. It depends on what I have time to do. We have a lot to discuss. We've got the, the Barilaro saga. Wow, is that playing out unbelievably at the moment. We've got the Premier telling us one story. We've got Investment New South Wales telling another story. We've got emails telling a third story. Somewhere in there is the truth. So I want to unpack the happenings of the last few days over Barilaro's appointment. I want to discuss Lindsay Chrisley's um, podcast. That was very interesting. That was a very clever very clever tactic to just have a a uh, casual discussion with her lawyer and um, mention talk about a few things he did refer I mean you could imply that he called a certain person a troll <laughs> and then there's the latest uh, Chrisley filings that we need to go through so um, I'm going to leave oh, I'm just waiting for my daughter to come back with the keys to a new apartment Yes, my baby's moving out. Actually, she's my big girl. My big girl's moving out and uh, get to see the house today. So I'm going off to see the house with her. And then probably later today, I will either, I don't know whether we'll do it as a live or whether we'll do it as a recorded, but we will try and unpack all of these happenings. Plus we've had five big, is it five, four or five big senior officials in the Andrews Labor government resigned today. Um, and I've got questions about that. I have a couple of theories. I want to discuss that. Um, I think for me, the biggest shock was James Molino, the um, education minister, the deputy premier. Uh, he uh, was amazing for the 12 weeks that he led the state uh, during the pandemic. And there are people that are saying that he was a threat to the top job, and so he needed to go. Um, that's sort of the whisperings that I'm hearing. I do, I, funnily now, I do have uh, an odd media contact now. Um, but I don't know what's going on there. The, health, the current health minister is also um, retiring. So when I say retiring, they are stepping down. We have a, a state election in November, so they won't be recontesting their seats. So they're retiring. But he resigned today as the, Molino resigned today as the Deputy Premier and the Education Minister. And uh, I think he was the Mental Health Minister as well. Uh, he has made a lot of amazing, done a lot for Victoria uh, in those roles, as I said. Very popular very popular very talented um and i think it's going to be a big hole to fill so i want to also unpack that so we've got a lot to talk about and uh yeah so I, hopefully i'll catch you later live or you'll get a updated and uploaded video i just don't know how things are going to work i've got some things that i'm trying to juggle at the moment and uh yeah so i'll catch you all later Bye for now.